The UEFA Champions League is back, ladies and gentlemen, and we're already being treated to the craziest drama from the very first match day. On Tuesday the 19th of September 2023, we saw Lazio's goalkeeper come forward and snatch a late draw against Atletico Madrid in the 95th minute of the game, and that has inspired us to look at times and goalkeepers have produced heroics like this. Before we even begin, we're doing a special giveaway for all our loyal subscribers, and we want you to be a winner. You have a chance to win a brand new jersey of whichever club you want and even have it delivered to your doorstep for free. And all you have to do is three simple things. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel like and share this video and stay in the comments which club shirt you want and that is all of course we'll start with the man of the moment Ivan Providel with the number 94 on his back this man came forward in the 94th minute of the opening game and was able to snatch a draw against Diego Simeone's men with a well-timed headed finish that was a goal that even Cristiano Ronaldo would have been proud of. With that, the 29-year-old Italian became the first goalkeeper to score a UEFA Champions League goal since Vixen Enyama in 2010. But in Enyama's case, it wasn't anything so glamorous. The Nigerian goalie scored from a penalty in the 79th minute of the game for Hapoel Tel Aviv against Lyon. And don't even think that goalkeepers taking penalties during games is an outdated practice in football because as recently as 2021, we saw Marco Dimitrovic score a penalty in La Liga again against Atletico Madrid. As a goalkeeper, scoring a goal against the eventual league champions must be an amazing feeling. But it's honestly really bold for a keeper to step forward to take a penalty during a game. I mean, imagine it's saved and the other goalkeeper starts a quick counter-attack. What happens then? Anyway, speaking of counters, it seems like Asmir Begovic was trying to start one but ended up producing the quickest goal by a goalkeeper in Premier League history. It happened on the 2nd of November 2013, playing for Stoke City against Southampton, Begovic kicked the ball from his own box and it ended up in the back of the net at the opposite end. Not only did it become the earliest goal scored by a goalkeeper in Premier League history, it also earned a place in the 2015 Guinness World Records as the longest range goal in football having been scored from 97.5 yards out. But that wasn't even the first super long range goal scored by a goalkeeper in the Premier League. In the 2011 2012 season, we saw Tim Howard score a goal from his own box in a game between Everton and Bolton Wanderers. Yes, he was assisted by the win, but the goal was still very much credited to him. Feeling bad for his opposite number, though, Howard decided not to celebrate the goal. But goals like that from keepers are actually the outliers. Most times when goalkeepers score, they do it very late in the game and from the opponent's box. Just like when Rafa Gikiewicz did it for Union Berlin in 2018. The Polish goalie came up and scored the equaliser for the German club in the 94th minute and it was nothing but pure drama. But want to see a better headed goal from a goalkeeper? Come check out this one from Alison Becker. You're almost certainly very familiar with this goal. Liverpool had had a bad title defence and were on the verge of finishing outside the top four just a season after winning the Premier League for the first time. So in the dying minutes of the game, knowing it was do or die at this point, Alisson ran forward when his team got a corner and what a header. He connected with the ball like prime Peter Crouch and secured the win for the Reds in the 95th minute. Drama really doesn't come much later than this. Or does it? See, it's one thing for a keeper to score a goal, but for a goalkeeper to score with the last kick of the game and have that goal nominated for the Pushkas Award? Come on, that's impossible. But apparently it can happen because Oscarine Masuluke did it back in 2016. Playing for Barocca in the South African League, Masuluke came up in the dying seconds of the game against Orlando Pirates to try and get his head to a corner and secure a point for his team. But with the additional time having already run out, Masaluke ends up producing one of the craziest overhead kick goals we've ever seen. That day, the shot stopper really turned into the showstopper. If not for Giroud's scorpion kick that same year, this South African keeper would have been a Pushkus award winner. And you know what else was crazy? Yassine Bounou's 94th minute goal for Sevilla in La Liga against Real Valladolid in 2021. It was pure chaos in the box leading up to the goal, but when the ball came to the feet of Bounou, he made sure to pick his spot expertly. But we just couldn't talk about all these keepers scoring goals without mentioning the OG Peter Schmeichel. On the 20th of October 2001, the Danish goalie became the first ever goalkeeper to be credited with a goal in the history of the Premier League. As usual, it came from a corner, but no, he didn't score the goal for United, he scored it for Aston Villa towards the end of his amazing career. Since Schmeichel paved the way with his goal, five more keepers have gone on to get Premier League goals for themselves. We mentioned Alisson, Howard and Begovic in this video, but can you tell us who the other two keepers are in the comments? Let's see who knows their football. And of course, if you know of any other goalkeeper who scored a goal, go ahead and tell us in the comments. 
If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.